I ended up buying them because they were a dollar a piece and there was a bunch of them there. And so I've sold off quite a few. Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Picker and welcome to our Commonwealth Cabin. My name is Kevin and we've had another big day of sales today. Unfortunately, though, since I'm up against the clock, there's a couple that are going to take a little bit of time to ship. And the one behind me, you can see right here, these lawn chairs. You know, this is an item that I sell that a lot of people don't sell and they don't want to deal with storing them and shipping them. And I kind of get it. But some of them are worth some pretty good money and you can find them pretty cheap. I usually don't buy a lawn chair unless it's a buck or two. These don't happen to be the best lawn chairs in the world. They're the plain Jane normal sizes. There's different ones that are worth a little bit more money. But I still sold them and I still made a decent profit, but they are going to take a little bit of work. So when I walk you through the process, if you don't sell them already, tell me in the comments if you would even bother selling them for the money that we sold them for. And I'll show you that in just a second. But let's take a look at what else sold. Had a viewer sale of some video games. Xbox 360 came from our giant lot of stuff that we paid 100 bucks for. All this is pure profit at this point. Not a huge seller here. That's why I put all three of them together. $10 plus shipping on this one. And it went to Jason's. Let me read that to you real quick. He says, Kevin, we've been watching you and your YouTube channels for several weeks. My wife's a full-time reseller, so she's constantly checking out the YouTube channels. That takes away from your listing time now. Unless you're listing as you watch. I used to do that before I did a YouTube channel. Now I spend all my time editing videos. I used to watch other people and just sit there and list and then look up and look down. How many of y'all list while you're watching this show? Let me know in the comments or, or give us a thumbs up if you <laughs> list while you're watching. So we appreciate it. He says, your channel is my favorite and we love your content. Keep up the great work, Jason. So now you didn't say your wife's favorite is this channel. So you got to tell me what your wife's favorite is. <laughs> anyway, thank y'all both of you so much. We do appreciate it. All right, here's an item that I got at this huge bulk. You haven't seen this sale, I don't think yet, unless I decided to bump it up in the rotation. This was one garage sale we made into a video, and I was there with Honest Tim, and I made a huge lot of stuff. Actually, three separate bundles that I bought and paid $52 for a bunch of stuff. We sold those two eight tracks the other day on the show. And then one more thing we sold in the Homeschool Hustler store, which I think you'll probably see in tomorrow's video. And so we're already in the profit at this point. So this is going to be a pure profit item, which it needs to be because it's sold for next to nothing. So I think we got $8 for this vintage soap on a rope. And actually it would have gone for probably 10 plus shipping, but it had already cracked. So somebody bought an old soap on a rope that was cracked and paid 10 bucks for it or eight bucks for it, which is fine with me. I almost didn't list it because I wasn't sure it would sell because it was cracked already, but it sold no problem. So, hey, what the heck? Wild Country, that's Avon. Another one from Xbox 360. This is again from our $100 buy. This one sold for $14.81, free shipping. All right, I've got three sales here in the back that I want to show you, and I don't really want to move them until I'm ready to ship them. So I'm going to walk you back there and let you take a look. All right, the first one is from a sale I haven't aired yet that I ended up buying a sewing machine. And I did something I don't often do, which is give them an offer for it. And I think I ended up paying $20 for it, hoping that I would get more. Unfortunately, it didn't have a power cord, but we're still making some pretty good money on it. It is this Burnett 234, and it's untested. So... What I did, instead of going out and buying the power cord, because they're kind of expensive, and I didn't want to wait around for it and all that, I'm like, you know what? Somebody's going to get a good deal on this. It's in great shape. It's probably working. And I just sold it as uh, untested. But this thing works here. You can always just move this reel here, and it's not locked, and it's doing that. So I figured it was a pretty good bet that it was working anyways. I described it well. And somebody got a heck of a deal on this. And we're still going to make probably $60, $65 profit on this one right here, which is kind of cool. So for $100 plus shipping. All right, the next item is over here. And I can't remember which shelf here. What shelf is it? It's the New York shelf. And it's some Corningware. And it is this one right here, I believe. 
And people don't realize this sometimes about Corning where they can weigh quite a bit different depending on when they were made. So you can see the difference in these two. These are actually the exact same size. I think they're both two and a half liters, but you can see the difference. And there's a difference in weight of more than half a pound. So it's always a good idea to weigh these to get your specs when you're putting in your calculated shipping. So this one right here sold for $17 plus shipping. And it's pretty easy shipper, especially when there's no lid. So I paid next to nothing for it. It'll go out for 17. So we'll make, you know, $14 profit on it. But it's going to take me five, maybe seven minutes to get ready to ship it. All right. And the next item you saw here are these lawn chairs. So let me tell you about those. All right, so these two lawn chairs, Turner was sitting in it earlier, are not great lawn chairs. Almost didn't buy them. You can see right here the damage on them. But I ended up buying them because they were a dollar a piece, and there was a bunch of them there. And so I've sold off quite a few, but these are just the generic ones. These are the, the normal height. Normally I like to buy the ones that have the short, you know, where the seat's going to be down here, like a beach chair or the ones that are really tall or have the high backs or have interesting colors or are rockers. Uh, those are the ones that usually sell better. So these don't sell too particularly well. However, since they're identical, not in condition, but they are identical, you'll notice there's rust on them as well. And I paid a buck a piece. I'm like, yeah, I'll pick them up. I'll sell them for $40 plus shipping. And that's exactly what we did. And they are gonna ship out together. And you know, $40 plus shipping, we paid two. We'll end up making close to $35 profit on it. It's going to take me about 10 minutes to get these ready. And I will show you at the end of the video how we do that. All right, we have Turner with us. And he made a homeschool hustler store sale. Yep. And we sold some glass <laughs> mugs. I think Blue Ridge Mama listed these. You were in here helping that day. I bought these at a garage sale, Turner, for $4. And there are four of them. And Pinocchio and Robin Hood. This is a 100-year celebration with McDonald's. And Turner, would you tell us who is on yours? Who's on yours? You recognize um, Buzz, a couple of those. Buzz Lightyear. Yeah, Buzz Lightyear's on that one. Donald Duck and, and Pluto and Snow White. And Mickey so, Mouse. And we sold them for $25 plus shipping. So we'll make, after fees and everything, we'll make pretty close to 20 bucks. Not quite. We'll make about $18. A little bit of time to ship them, but that's okay. And you know what? It was Sissy's birthday yesterday, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and you know what you talked about all day? What you want for your birthday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you did get her a nice gift, yeah. didn't you? That's right. You got her a Harry Potter wand, didn't yeah. you? What do you want for your birthday? Um, a blue, a blue Spider-Man micro suit. Yeah, and Turner knows when his birthday is yeah. to the day, don't you? Yeah. Because you ask Siri about it all yeah. the time. How many yeah. days to your birthday? Um, uh, right now, it's 52. <laughs> <laughs> You're hilarious. All right, buddy. Thank you. Bye. All right, we have a sale, and it's going to a viewer, and I brought Reagan in. You'll see why in a second. It's to Jason, and he bought this Under Armour shirt back here. He says, here you need to get rid of some clothes. Hope this makes some room for you. I also grabbed a sticker from your website, commonwealthpicker.com. Can you say that? Give, me, give yourself a little promo. Commonwealthpicker.com. That's right. Your sticker. <laughs> <laughs> get a Commonwealth Picker sticker. Yeah. That's right. And where did I put it? Let me see. You want to hold that up? And he also got one of these stickers from Reagan's store, Commonwealthpicker.com. And we always throw in a little extra little one too. So thank you, Jason. That was very kind of you. Midwest Merchandiser. Cool. That's the name of his eBay store. All right, and you don't even have to address the envelope because we'll just put it in there with that shirt. Yep. All right. All right. Tell them thank you. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Here's a UNC dry fit shirt, fifteen dollars on this one. Free shipping. Free shipping on this. It's got the Jordan Jumpman right there, of course. Nike dry fit UNC. Here's a Canon camera battery charger, and this one is it just got the little swivel back, you know, nothing amazing on this. Eleven dollars, free shipping. And what's a Commonwealth Picker store without selling <laughs> ridiculous items like this? Two mouse trap balls, $5.99 free shipping. All right, I'm forewarning you right here. We do have a Homeschool Hustler store sale that Turner already videoed. We'll put it on the end of the video here. And the next nine sales 
are all anime and so i'm gonna go through them really quick if you don't like that you can skip maybe two minutes ahead and then join us out there in the commonwealth cabin this one's going out to Brian. Hey, I have been reselling for many years. I love watching your channel. I can't wait to put this in Lonnie's Shed Flips Cozy. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. I have one of Lonnie's Shed Flip Cozies right there. So I can give you a little preview. Do me a favor. Send me an Instagram with it in the cozy. I appreciate it. And, uh, and make sure you link Lonnie to it. You know, I love watching Cincinnati Picker. And almost everybody now has one of these guys hanging out in the background. Maybe we should do a, a Where's In A Man video and then pull all those videos. I think Thrift Mine has one sitting back there. I know John had was it on his cabinet back there. Matt at Part-Time Pickers has it behind him every day. You know, I'm, I'm kind of blessed with that, so that's awesome. And even Lonnie, right up next to his mugs up there, has an In A Man sitting in one of my mugs. So I really do appreciate it. And so many of y'all out there who have YouTube channels and so many of you out there who don't have YouTube channels or just eBay resellers have sent me pictures, so we do appreciate it. All right, I'm not going to give a, a, a thank you to every single person out here. I'll wait to the end, and I'll say hopefully they get things moving. I'll give you a thank you at the end. All right, thanks for sharing all the content, Kevin. I figured I'd better get one of these good luck plush before they're gone. Who doesn't need a little luck with their eBay business? Thanks again. Midnight Moolah on YouTube and Instagram. Midnight Moolah, M-O-O-L-A-H. Okay, I like that. I remember the fabulous Moolah. Y'all remember that, all you wrestling fans out there? Do you remember the fabulous Moolah? <laughs> all right, thank you, Joseph. And Jennifer says, Hi, Kevin. Been watching your videos for a while now. Enjoy your channel. I have a store called J&J's Pick and Flip. Pick and Flip. I like that. I see you sell the Animan all the time, but as a nurse who has administered many, <laughs> many of these over the years, I just couldn't bring myself to do it. You broke me down. He is very cute and hopefully brings my store some luck. That's awesome. And thank you. You know, nurses have a tough job out there. And thank you so much for all you do. One going out to Judith and another Joseph, it looks like right here, or a Joe from Washington State. Hey, Kevin, longtime viewer and subscriber here. Totally enjoy watching how you and Blue Ridge Mama interact with your children. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate it. What a fine example of effect. I can't read this stuff about myself. It's tough. I'm looking forward to... I skipped ahead a little bit. I'm looking forward to receiving my inner man and seeing how he does as a, as a conversation starter. And I'm confident he can get a small dinner party moving in the right directions. Best wishes from Joe in Washington State. Well, and better than that, you can tell everybody to go subscribe to uh, CommonwealthPicker.com. And don't forget to hit that bell, that alert bell up there. <laughs> Appreciate it. One going to Tim and one going to Sue. Hi, Kevin and family. I've learned so much from watching your videos. You have the sweetest little family. I ordered my in a man a long time ago, and I'm very pleased with him. But now I need one for a dear friend who needs help health-wise. She will get a big kick out of having him, whether he motivates her or not. Keep up the good work, stay safe, and may God bless. And that is awesome, Sue. So thanks for caring so much about a friend. We appreciate it, and we hope it cheers her up. This one's going out to Sean. Hey, sales have been slow, so hopefully any man will give me a bit of a boost. Love the content on YouTube. Thanks for the free knowledge, Sean. So, Sean, thank you. We do appreciate it. All right, I think... Little Lion Deals is the name of the eBay store, and the name, I think, is Lionicio. I think I've pronounced that right. Lionicio? Lionicio? I think. At any rate, I apologize if I have that wrong. Let me read what you put here. I see these things being sold on your YouTube channel, and I always heard you pronounce the name as Ant-A-Man. <laughs> I thought it looked a little bit like a glue bottle character or something. That's the first thing, you know, when my students last year when I started doing this and put it on one student ordered an anime <laughs> one of my students in my classroom at school so I brought one in because they wanted to see like what is the you know and I sat it there in my room and they're like what do you have a glue bottle plush for <laughs> and I told him I said well, just look up enema online and they'll they'll get it so I thought it looked like a little glue bottle character finally saw the name on the back of the cape and now I get it. So thank you so much. We appreciate it. And it's headed your way. We do appreciate all the sales. And I'm going to say goodbye from in here. But we're going to go back out for a homeschool hustler store sale. And I'm going to show you how I ship those lawn chairs out. But until next time, just want to say goodbye. And we can't wait to see you next time. All right, we have another homeschool hustler store sale. I think I'm going to put one this one on tomorrow's video, even though <laughs> we're going to ship it out today. Turner, you don't know who that guy is, do you? Oh, you do know. It's Tweety Bird. Yeah. That's right, Tweety Bird. And Tweety Bird is from 1999. 
And I just saw it and it still had a tag on it. Can I see the tag? Looney Tunes. I picked it up at a garage sale. We just bundled and bundled for one price. So every everything I find that I think I can get some money out of in the bundle, that, that's not going to really cost me any more. I just throw it in there. And so this one sold for, believe it or not, for $9 plus shipping for that Tweety Bird. And it's like a bean bag. It's like a beanie baby yeah. kind of sort of. And it's tiny. So it's just got some tiny little beans in it. And so that little guy right there is going to, you know, $9 plus shipping, you know, that's fine. I'll take it all day long. It's going to be like an $8 profit on that little guy. So $1 to spend, $1 to save, and $1 to donate. That's right. Thanks for joining us. Bye. All right, so I always have people ask me about these lawn chairs. So basically, I take the number, the box that the number seven box comes in. This one right here is the number seven from the post office. Here's the number seven box. And when you buy 25 of them, they come in this box. And it's pretty easy to just Frankenbox two of them together. They're the perfect size, as you can see right there. And I'm just going to slide this one over the top and then make sure it's all secure. And that's how I ship them. I mean, they're pretty durable. Unless something gigantic gets dropped on it, there's going to be nothing that happens to it. So I keep these boxes all the time, and that's what I use. Just in case you're wondering, the final dimension is 30 by 24 by 7, and it's 9 pounds 13 ounces. It's going out to Hagerstown, Maryland, and it was a calculated shipping through FedEx, and it cost me, let me double check, $17.97. I put an extra inch on each side, and I put $10 in there for the calculations, and so it charged the buyer $21.00 and eight cents. So the difference there at least covers my fees for shipping. So you're figuring I'm paying fees on $40, five, six, seven to buy it. It is going to be a $33 profit. Took me exactly seven minutes to get these things packaged up. Maybe another seven for pictures and a listing. So, you know, you put in 15 minutes on something to make 33 bucks is definitely worth my time.